Police are calling a paint attack on a central Auckland rainbow crossing a hate crime. It's the second in a week to be hit by vandals. Again, it was painted over, but this time it's not yet clear by whom. The damage bill's set to be thousands of dollars. Kim Baker Wilson reports. The rainbow hues looking worse for wear. Overnight, smothered in paint. Another rainbow crossing targeted and vandalised. Yeah, it's not good. Just leave us alone. This is a bloody nonsense. Earlier this week, it was Gisborne. Destiny Church members painting over the town's crossing. It was painted rainbow again. We have the right to protest. And then several arrests after protesters returned. Police say in Auckland it was three people pouring the paint, their faces covered, their number plate hidden. Now a police appeal to find out who they are. Yeah, I don't want the police um, tied up with that sort of nonsense, so the, my, my message is whoever's doing that is should, should cut it out. You know, it's, it's really hard just to even just go about my day sometimes when this rise in hate is happening. This paint attack and this crossing in the heart of Auckland's rainbow community. This is like a bit too close to home, seeing this kind of thing happen. This isn't just a road where I come for a coffee or go for a drink in a bar. This is actually my second home, and it's second home to a lot of queer people. And we'll clean up this splash of paint, and I think that those uh, antagonists can expect to see that the love, the support, and the celebration for our community will return tenfold. It was water-based paint, so much of it washed off in the rain. That's what happens with water-based paint. It does mix with water and it's, it's rain. And, and, and I suppose another concern for me would be the environmental damage that something like this could, could cause with um, the paint ending up in our waterways. There'll be a proper clean-up tonight. The damage could cost tens of thousands. Bring us right up to date, Kim. What's the latest in the police investigation? Simon, it's a search warrant launched today in the South Auckland suburb of Flatbush. That was at an address that police think was linked to the car that they think was involved in this vandalism overnight. Police didn't find the car and they didn't find anyone they were looking for, but they did find several items of interest and those items have been seized. Brian Tamaki at Destiny Church doesn't appear to be saying or confirming either way whether Destiny Church is involved in what happened here overnight but he did put up an, opi an opinion piece online today where he said that this is only the beginning. As for what happens here next at the crossing itself, Auckland Council staff will be coming in tonight. The road will be closed for a time. Council workers will then get as much of the paint off as they can. It goes right down the road and then they should have a much better idea of how much damage there is and a much better idea of how much it will cost to fix it. Ten Kim, thank you for that.